It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's all up next. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And out come the Lions for their first drive behind their ninth-year quarterback in year number four with Detroit. It's Jared Goff. It's hardly an exaggeration to say that Goff has revitalized his career these last couple of years. And he's rewarded for it during the offseason as Detroit has certainly made sure everyone knows he's their quarterback for the future. It's clear that they believe in him, and he's done nothing to sway them from that belief. So first and 10 now from the 30. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Now a play fake, and it's gone. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And this young man does nothing but continue to ascend to the top of the wide receiver charts. Very similar to his team. Last year alone, he finished in the top five in catches, yards, and touchdowns. Tied for second in the league with 119 total grabs. Not bad for a former fourth-round pick. And he and his Lions continue to take aim at the rest of the league. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. In motion, the tight end. There's Goff. And his throw is incomplete. Nice play on the football, and while it was tipped in the air and made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground, you just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play, nerves come into play, and despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. 
Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. It'll go as a gain of four. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Third and four. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Prescott now. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. Charles, their first drive of the game, and already they're taking chances here, but they get the fourth down conversion. I I'm curious, do you think that that's something they game plan for on the opening drive if it came up, or is that something that happened organically? I think that they game plan for it, Brandon, and when you think about it, Let's just say it. The word analytics is a big part of how everyone looks at a game nowadays, but it's not just the analytics. It's a coach willing to be daring, willing to be bold, and they certainly were there. From the 24 now, here's second down and one. Throwing, Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as he's down at the 17-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. 17 yards for Ezekiel Elliott. And the Cowboys will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Aubrey good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. 
And he finds Montgomery complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there. And they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. That'll give them eight that time. And it'll be second in a couple. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and two. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Back to throw, golf. Open man right side is St. Brown. So the completion good for seven there, and that will bring up second down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Now this airmail to the sideline. It's incomplete. And there don't appear to be any flags forthcoming. Maybe a little fortunate there. It's third down. Here's Goff. That is caught. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. But Goff and Williams hook it up there for a Lions first. Now that's absolutely frustrating for a defender. Had a chance to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline. But what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down. Off play action. Here's Goff. Trying to lay one up deep. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And that's where you want to use your big tight end. Let him use his size and frame to go up and get the deep ball in the end zone. But that time, they couldn't connect. Here's second and ten. To the air again, golf. That's caught, it's Sam Laporta. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. There's golf. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 12-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here? This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet, and they're able to move it down into the red zone. Goff now to throw. Over the middle and take it in by LaPorta. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Sam LaPorta, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are an extra point away from evening this one up. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, 
They go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Now the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. A 10-play drive that time, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 35. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Inside give to Elliott. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Ball on the 27. Here's second down in a yard. Now Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 14. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tolbert, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Aubrey now for the PAT. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. A drive there of just four plays, and it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And Detroit getting set to go now. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated, they both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Goff now looking to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. Now golf. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now it's golf. Going deep for Montgomery. And he backs it away and it falls down incomplete. So one first down on that drive and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Kevontae Turpin deep for the Cowboys. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and two. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Finding room in midfield, and he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Second and short. That's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now 
absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down. Aubrey now for the point after. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to Just a four-play drive that time. And it's finished off by the touchdown from CeeDee Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and ten right at the 30. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he'll get this to the 32. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Goff now looks to throw. He's got right on the short throw. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Only able to gain a couple there. And it brings up third and five now. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. From the gun on third down, Goff. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 24 yards. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Montgomery running right, and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. The 20! And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. Gone. Throw over the middle. He finds Williams. And he's taken down at the seventh after a gain of seven. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Into the hands of Patrick, left side. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds, right at the three. Yeah, you only get a one-yard buffer there from the line of scrimmage, and he got downfield a little too far, and the flag came out.
To throw is gone. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Carlos Watkins able to take him down. It's a loss of three. Well, if the goal is to get back into this game, the offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now, but unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. So now following the sack, off in the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. From the left hash, this from 34. And his kick is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a good return, but he pays the price at the end of it as he's picked up and thrown down. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete here. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Second and ten. Prescott now. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Very far off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Tolbert hauls in the out run. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And they'll come up second and seven. 
On the option, here's Elliott. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now Prescott. Over the middle complete. It's Ferguson. And he gets it all the way down inside the ten. And mark him at the five. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. And I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times, the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball, and they're the one. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Back to throw, golf. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Yeah. 
And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So now following the sack, off in the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. St. Brown motioning left. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. The Cowboys offense and Dak Prescott getting ready to go once more. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The numbers sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And, I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. Prescott to throw it. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. It became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Now a second and ten. Prescott from the gun. He'll find it. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. So out now come the Lions. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. So they recover their own fumble. Now they face third and short. They'll throw again. Prescott. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Second down and eight. Throwing, Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And down inside the 15 he goes. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. Yeah. 
And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And this one is right through. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. A final shot before break here. Golf. They'll let this go deep for St. Brown. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. It was a veteran quarterback, Dak Prescott, who had it working in the first half. He connected on three touchdown passes in those first two quarters as his guys have built up a sizable lead here at the break. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Cowboys offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And some strong running. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him picks up three on that carry to throw his press gun eluding the pressure right give him 10 that time escaping the danger running with it and picking up a first down he's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball he's dangerous but when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet <laughs> Almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Over the middle, hold in by Lamb. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and a yard. Up the middle. Here's Elliott. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. 
Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Okay, second and one, you get nothing. What now on third and one? Sorry about that. I was so excited I jumped in on you. This is almost like practice to me. Line it up and do it again. You didn't get it right the first time. Just get right back on the ball and go. It doesn't matter that they know you're coming. You ought to be able to pick up this short yardage. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This will be a critical call. And he missed it. It's no good. And the lead will hold at three touchdowns. Wow, partner, it's almost a little jarring to see a holder set up on the other side of midfield. I haven't brought out my binoculars to make sure on that one. But that is showing an awful lot of confidence in a kicker to try and hit from 61 yards, and this one winds up no good. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, this offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50, first and 10. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And he's got this down to the 35. 60 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Here's Goff. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Montgomery on the counter. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Out of the gun, gone. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And that is no good. And this will stay a three-touchdown game. Now listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their backgrounds. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive, missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. 
Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And this one sails out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to Will. 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. And Detroit getting set to go now. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll send the tight end in motion. Here's Goff. Caught by Montgomery. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence The big plays are out there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and six. Now a play fake, and it's golf. That is caught by Laporta. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 39. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now it's gone. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 22-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Off play action, here's Goff. Finding Williams once more, complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Montgomery 
will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. From back at the four, here's second and goal. From the gun, here's Goff. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Micah Parsons, the outside linebacker, coming up to drop him for a loss of a full 10 yards. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Now Goff. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is right there. It's good, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him, and he'll look to keep it rolling right here. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. From the 38 now, here's second and a couple. Off the play fake, Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. On play action, Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Prescott yet again. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And that's one of the few things that has not gone right for this offense so far. They've had their share of big plays. That was nearly another. 
but somehow he just couldn't squeeze it. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Another shot now for this Lions offense. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Goff now to throw. He'll get this one to Patrick. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw, Goff. This to Laporta, right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but if they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad Ball on the 39. Here's second down. A shotgun snap for golf. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Micah Parsons picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him. But the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. So now following the sack, off in the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle and taken in by Laporta. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be fourth down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. 
Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. They start on the ground with Elliott. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A good effort there, nine yards, but it's going to leave him looking at a fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Charles, even as long field goals become more and more common, this is still very rarefied air. Only just over 20 field goals have been kicked from 60 yards or further, and you can add his name to the list now. And as calm as he tried to present himself, there's no doubt there were some nerves as he lined up to attempt that kick. But once the ball was snapped, he just swept the leg and boom, over the crossbar. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Lions offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Tim Patrick, 78 yards. And the Lions have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. They've been pretty anemic on this side of the football in the second half, just three points, and you just saw the touchdown go the other way. So it's a two-score game. We're not done here yet. I think everyone's on the edge of their seats now because they're anticipating what's coming, and 
I sense that everyone in the stadium knows they need to keep it on the ground. So if you're going to do that, hope the quarterback is stretched a little bit. Some bootlegs, right? <laughs> some fakes inside, getting out to the perimeter. Those might be open for him. Throwing. Prescott. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. And we constantly talk about people being on the same page. In this situation, the two of them saw the play with the same eyes. They understood where the open spaces were going to be, and they found a way to get there to pick up a new set of downs. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. A first down carry by Elliott. He's got it to the 43 here. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football, and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass, but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. Here's Brian Anger now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this works out well as it'll kick out of bounds at the 11-yard line. The Lions offense and Jared Goff set to take over once more. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game. And they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I tell you what, when you're down on the scoreboard, you've got to look to your stars, and that's what they do here to start the drive. I wouldn't be surprised if they looked his way a few more times in short order. That one, well designed, and it's a quick first down. That pass caught, it's Williams. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And for as poorly as this offense has looked at times, it's the fourth quarter and they're still in this game. That's a good, confident throw right there. And now, who knows, if you can put a drive together here, you can make something of this game after all. St. Brown over the middle.
Now second and three. Now Goff. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Here's Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second down and four. Again, golf. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. This offense so far on third down, they're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and four. To throw is gone. Finds Gibbs on the check down. Certainly not what they wanted there. No gain, and it's fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards especially on third down yeah that one how about the defense figured that one out in a big way yeah they completed it all right and lost yardage desperation time for golf on fourth that's to the sideline and pulled in and he'll be out of bounds able to get it down to the 25 there the time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Here's gone. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To the air again, golf. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Lions have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Big score. First step in their attempt to climb back into this game. Yes, but still some work to do as they get within a score here. Now for the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the final act was the David Montgomery touchdown reception. now as they line up and kick this one away. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. This game has really flipped on its head. Two unanswered touchdowns by the other side, and now you know, they take over here with just a very slim one-score lead. And we've seen this how many times now? Teams get a big lead, they go into coast mode, and all of a sudden they're scrambling and battling for a win down the stretch. They've got to put something together right here, otherwise they're in danger of doing the old snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and they'll be left with a second and about a foot.
The give is to Elliott. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now second and five. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And a short game down to about the 33. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here is third down and four. Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. That is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tolbert, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Aubrey now for the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. They'll come up first and ten here. Goff now looking to throw. Able to complete it to Montgomery. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Golf. Oh, he catches it off the tip. It wasn't even intended for him. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Guaranteed they've been talking a lot about can we find something that'll go our way and that tip ball that definitely just did well And with this margin manageable. Yeah, that gives them a little juice maybe on the tip Yeah, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination that could help them get right back in it And this is intercepted and that should do it picked up by Trayvon Diggs And he takes this one back into the end zone and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown 
Well, mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, and it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tabbed as one of the best in the league the prior season. Aubrey now for the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. 11. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And the kick team down there quickly. They don't have to run as far as they used to. And they're able to stop him before he can even make it to the 15. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just at personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it, and it'll be second down. Now Goff. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Goff now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Now the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Here's Goff. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Goff throwing again. Outright, this one goes to Patrick. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack. And a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that will force a turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago.
Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, Let's enjoy watching our team play this well.